Assalamu alaikum dear friends After the request to my friends Today in 2020 I am here to explain and telling that How to solve their sets or practical or problem of Hypothesis testing for difference of sample means For significant case their practical or problem is very very important for you I will explain their uh, lecture I will complete their lecture within 6 steps within 6 steps their 6 steps are very very important for you and so must watch this lecture completed till end and don't skip any step because each step of that lecture is very very important and last point don't forget to like this video so let's start the lecture here is the given here the two samples A and B two samples A and B are given already here and we have given standard deviation and what else here standard deviation of population because we have discussing two populations A and B X1 X2 which shows that standard deviation is 1 but standard deviation will be must remember sigma 1 2.5 and also sigma 2 sigma 2 will be 2.5 because standard deviation is one given but we have discussing two populations x1 x2 which shows that sigma 1 is 2.5 and sigma 2 must be 2.5 that's here now i'm discussing my first step first step is that null the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis that is the first step because the case is difference of sample means is significant which shows that null density will be mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0 that's simple and similarly mu1 minus mu2 does not equal to 0 because that is a case of significance right here that is a case of significance so right here null density Difference from me is equal to 0 and difference from me does not equal That is the alternative hypothesis. That is the null of that. That is the first step of the lecture. Now going to my second step. Second step is here, which is level of significance. Level of significance. Here is the given value of level of significance is 0 0.05 so right here 0 0.05 that's clear now moving by third step third step is here which is test statistic third step is here test statistic i already told you that in my uh, definitions of hypothesis testing test test is a formula so here formula will be used here z is equal to I write the value here z is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar bracket close that's simple minus bracket mu1 minus mu2 divided by square root of sigma1 square divided by n1 plus sigma2 square divided by n2 so that is the test that we will use in case because sigma 1, sigma 2 are already given. So I will use that formula of z calculated value. That is the z calculated value. The four formula, four step will be here. Calculation. Four step is here. Calculation. So I'm, now next step is here. I am putting the values here. Mu 1 minus mu 2 is already given equal to 0. I will put here 0 x1 bar x2 bar you have to calculate x1 bar x2 bar you will know that x1 bar is equal to summation x1 summation x1 divided by n1 and x2 bar is equal to summation x2 divided by summation x2 divided by n2 so first of all you have to calculate that value before that value in there you can easily calculate that capital value i i now now i'm calculating that value so first of all here n1 n1 is the number of values here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here n1 is given here and one values is here uh, 10 and n2 is will be simple 10 that's here and next step is there you have to calculate submission x1 and 
summation x2. You guys recalculate, adding that values, you will get here summation x1. Adding that values, you will get here summation x2. So now I'm calculating that value now here. Adding that value, first of all, that value I will get here summation x1. Uh, 16 plus 18 plus 23 plus 26 plus 19 plus 24 plus 25 and next 23 plus 21 plus 22 adding that value we get here 217 217 and next now we get here mission x2 adding that values 20 plus 21 plus 23 very very easy step plus 26 plus 25 plus 27 plus 24 plus 26 plus 24 again that's value plus 28 we get the value here 244 so put the values in here that section I will put here uh, submission x1 is 217 217 divided by n1 is 10 and similarly, I will put here value is 244, 244 divided by 10. I am calculating the values here. First of all, I am calculating the values of that x1 bar. 217 divided by 10. 217 divided by 10, we get the value here 21.7. So x1 bar is here 21.7, that's clear. And now calculating here x2 bar. 244 divided by 10. 244 divided by 10, we get the value here 24.5. So, right here 24. So, 24.4, that is the x2 bar calculated value. So, put all the values in that section. I will write here z calculated value is equal to here divided by x1 bar. x1 bar is given here. 21.7, I put here 21.7, that's clear, minus x2 bar, x2 bar is given here, 24.4, I will put here 24.4, that's clear, next step, because mu1 minus mu2 is equal to 0, so I put here 0, that's clear, because this is equal to 0, that's simple, right away, square root of sigma 1 square, Sigma 1, Sigma 2 are 2.5, 2.5, completing square because it's a square, divided by n1 is 10, n1 is, uh, n1 is 10, plus again 2.5, completing square, divided by 10. Now, capturing the values here, very simple step, 21.7 minus 21.7 minus 24.4, 24.4. I will get the value here minus 2.7 divided by now next value square root of uh, 2.5 uh, 2.5 completing square we get the value here 6.25 6.25 divided by 10 similarly 6.25 divided by 10 and solving that value here minus 2.7 uh, scale of the value is here. Now next value is here. Uh, Z is equal to minus 2.7 divided by because LCM is same. I write here 10 divided by 6.25 plus 6.25. That is 6.25 plus 6.25. We get the value here 12.5. 12.5 taking the Square root of that. That's clear. Next step will be here 12.5 divided by 10. 12.5 divided by 10, we get the value here 1.25. That's the value here minus 2.7. Next, well, uh, dividing that value, we get here 1.25. Taking square root of that. Taking square root of that, we get the value here 1.1118. That's clear. And next step will be here 2.7 divided by this 2.7 divided by 1.118. We get the value here uh, 2.5. So Z calculated value is here. Z 
कैलकुलेटिंग वैल्यू दे माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर वन फाइव सो आई कोटेन द वैल्यू ऑफ जेड कैलकुलेटिंग वैल्यू डेट इज द फोर्थ स्टेप नाउ रिमेनिंग टू स्टेप विच द मेन पार्ट ऑफ डेट लेक्चर सो डोंट स्कीप डेट लास्ट स्टेप्स लास्ट ऑफ माई लास्ट स्टेप So last step, uh, next next step is here. Fourth step is clear, and next step is here. Fourth step. Next step is here. Fourth step. Fourth step is here, which is critical region. Fourth step is here, which is very very important for you. Critical region. In critical region, we must find that H one because H one is given here. Two tail H one is given here dash sign which is shows that two tail test that is two tail test so that's clear point and next step will be here when simply I will put up right here the uh, value or uh, shape of normal distribution I will write here dash section and dash section I will write here z alpha by two and next minus z alpha by two. Because that equation minus fifty two plus fifty, so right here z alpha by two and minus z alpha by two. So I have already told you that in finding confidence interval, how to calculate that value. But simple step, I will write here for that value z alpha given here zero point zero five. Alpha is given here zero point zero five, but we have to bond here alpha by two. So we are dividing by value here. Alpha by two, zero point zero five divided by two. We get the value here, zero point zero five divided by two. We get the value zero point zero two five. So alpha by two is equal to zero point zero two five. So next step is very simple. I already told you method that that section is zero point five. That section is that section is zero point five. And that section is zero point five, which is totally. Uh, I already told you that total area of normal distribution is one. So just when you have root here, zero point five minus alpha by two. Zero point five minus alpha by two. That is the shortcut method. So to get the values of that, zero point five minus alpha by two. Zero point zero two five. Simple. Zero point five minus. 0.025. We get the value here. 0.475. What's the value? Next one here. What's that value? See that value in the table of in the table of areas for standard normal distribution. Areas for standard normal distribution. That table is available in book. शेर मोहम्मद चौधरी बुक शेर मोहम्मद चौधरी डेट टेबल इज यू विल यूज डेट टेबल टू कैलकुलेट दैट वैल्यू वाज डेट इन डेट यू देन टू गेट द एजेस ऑफ डेट वैल्यू यू विल रेट एंड यू विल टेन द वैल्यू हेयर 1.96 एंड नेक्स्ट जियल पावर टू इज 1.96 इन माइंस जी यू कैन डू इट इन सेल्फ वेरी वेर Next last step is here. Now moving by next point. Now moving by next point. Next point is here. Very simply, I will write here. You know, I already told you that 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 calculated value must be less than minus z alpha by two. Must remember, which shows that that case will be rejection. And must remember. If that calculated value, I will test both section. That's right because it's a two tail test. That that calculated value must be greater than z alpha by two. In that case, must be rejection. That's clear. So that calculated value is less than that. That case rejection. If that calculated value is greater than that case, will be rejection. Now moving my next point here. That calculated value is given here. Minus two point four one five less than minus one point nine six. So let me tell you that 
minus 2.14 is less than that so so dad's case will be reject so dad's case will be reject because minus 2.5 is less than minus 1.5 that's clear now moving by second point second point is here z capital value is minus 2.415 is greater than 0 power 2 1.96 here it is here, minus 2.1415 is greater than that is impossible. So we show that that case will be accept. So that case will be accept because that is not greater than that value, does not lie in critical region. So that will be accepted. So we now move to the next point, conclusion. So four five step is conclusion, which is the main part of that lecture. So the conclusion, result of that lecture will be reject that's not that the result of that lecture will be reject because must remember that when we case reject accept or accept reject so conclusion will be reject that's not conclusion will be reject as not because right here z falls in critical region z falls in critical region so that is a very very step easy I hope that you have gained a lot of point and a lot of concepts which are very very easy steps to solve that lecture and must remember the key point here writing here must remember when we have case number one reject and next next case will be reject so conclusion will be for both case conclusion will be reject as no must remember and second case if we have occurred reject that's not reject and second case is accept or vice versa if we yes is accept that is reject so conclusion will be must remember that reject that's not must remember that's clear so i hope that and last time last point if we have a last point and last point is here if you have accept that's not if we have case accept and then second case is also accept so in both case must remember that we will result conclusion will be accept as not so accept as not will be concluded or in that case just only and that case will be reject as not thanks for watching the video if you like this video then can you must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button for gaining notification my new lecture and new practical goodbye